to be able to do things in Scratch, you need to be able to find your way around the screen. And the screen in Scratch is divided up into uh, X and Y coordinates. X goes this way, it goes across, and Y goes up and down. And as I move the mouse pointer around up here, you can see down here it's telling me the X and the Y location. Okay, And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the uh, the cursor right about to the middle of the screen here and if I do let me see right right there um, you see down at the bottom it says X is 0 and Y is 0 the middle of the screen X is 0 and Y is 0 and as I move to the right my X coordinate increases and I'm moving down a little bit apparently too but it increases and the farthest I can go to the right here is um, I think 240 and then I get to the edge and if I go in the other direction uh, using negative numbers uh, the furthest I can go over here is negative 240 and I bump into the edge of the screen so uh, I've got 240 pixels on this side and I've got 240 pixels on this side and you add them up I've got a total range of 480 different positions in the X range here going left to right. So negative 240 is the furthest I can go this way. Zero is right smack in the middle and way over here is uh, 240. Now in the y direction um, if I move, let's try to get back to zero zero here. So if I uh, take the y and move up I get higher numbers for the y until I get all the way up to the top here and the top is 180 and if I go back in the other direction go all the way down to the bottom uh, the furthest I can go in the bottom is 180 as well so um, it's a little bit wider than it is tall I've got 180 pixels going up and 180 pixels going down for 360 and I've got 240 over here and 240 over here so I've got a total area of 480 pixels going across and 360 pixels going up and down and you can have your sprite which is what we call our images on the screen move to any one of those um, by using a go to X Y command we'll try that right now so let's drag this over here and we're gonna put a value in for X so click on X and then we, we're going to type in let's move him about halfway from where he is to the edge of the screen so that's uh, 240 I'm gonna move him 120 and I'm gonna leave the Y at 0 okay and then I go to run my program and you see nothing happens the reason nothing happens is because uh, I've got to tell it that I want it to do this when the green flag is clicked and I didn't put that part in so um, nothing will happen in your program unless you tie it to this event button here that says when the green flag is clicked go ahead and do that so now when the green flag is clicked it should go to X number 120 and if I run and there he is he moved over about half of the distance from the middle to the edge of the screen okay let's stop the program here and you notice he stays here and um, but I'm going to tell him where I want to move to. I'm going to have him move in the Y direction. I'm going to have him move minus 100. So minus numbers should take him down. And now uh, he's going to stay at 120. He's going to go down to minus 100. So let's click on that. And that's where minus 100 is. And since he's kind of big, it's kind of hard to tell exactly. Uh, the 120 is right here and the 100 minus 100 is right here so it looks like that's pretty much the center of our sprite so when you tell it to move to a location it's going to go to and position the center of the sprite in that location